Hi everyone, welcome to Carpe Diem Sailing. My name is Marco, I'm a Sail Canada cruising instructor, and in today's video I'll be doing some emergency repairs to my inflatable dinghy while cruising this summer. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe, and make sure you click that little bell icon to get notified of all our upcoming videos. I'm here today in beautiful Penner Harbor with my nine foot AB inflatable and uh, my rubbing strip on the bottom here, which was in, in, uh, installed by the factory, is starting to peel off. Unfortunately, I noticed that just before we left, we're out on a cruise. I did buy some very expensive glue for PVC and Hypalon, which turned out to be quite complicated to use. It's uh, 24 hours and 48 hours and then six days before it sets up. So right now, we want to use this dinghy. We're out on a cruise. Um, I, I don't really, I'm not going to consider that option any further. So I did have some of this seal all that uh, I bought somewhere in a marine supply store. It's quite cheap, a lot cheaper than that complicated glue that uh, I was going to use. Um, so we're going to try that and see. It's just this one little edge that's up and this little edge here. So hopefully this will do the trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it. Um, I've prepped it by sanding in here with 100 grit sandpaper. I've masked it off um, and then I've cleaned, it every cleaned everything with acetone. And then now this is a contact cement. It is supposed to be quite a bit stronger than regular contact cement and it is gas and oil resistant. So we're going to try to put that on. Uh, it's going to have to tack dry before putting the two place uh, with, for the contact. So I'm going to put it on and uh, then we're going to seal it up and put the two pieces together. And then I'm going to do a follow up video in a little while just to see how long or how well this actually held up. So the idea is to, it's a brand new tube, so I'm just going to open that tube a little bit. And then the idea is to spread a thin layer on both surfaces. And then to let it dry. And hopefully this will work and we can carry on with our cruise. And maybe when I get back what we'll do is we'll actually take it into the shop and then we'll just remove the whole thing and, uh, and replace it properly. But for now we're just trying to see if I can find a quick and, quick and dirty fix for while we're out on the cruise. And then something else I saw, I actually looked at a YouTube video that was talking about the seal all and talking about um, putting the cap back on with some um, Vaseline or some jelly, petroleum jelly to keep it from sticking. Just so you keep to have it for further uses or for, for next time you want to use it. All right, so we're going to leave that to get tacked dry and then we're going to come back and we're going to put it all together and see how it holds. And then we're going to do a follow up video and uh, hopefully I've got some good news. Well, here we are in November, nice weekend, finally putting the uh, boat away for the winter. And uh, just want to finalize this little video after this emergency repair that was done in August to get us through that cruise. It's held up incredibly well, both this piece here as well as further down where it was peeling off as well. So for an emergency repair tool to get you through a cruise, it, uh, it's really good. It's also really good for doing plastic uh, gas tanks. It seals those quite well. So as an emergency tool to get you through a cruise, not meant to be permanent by any means, but it will get you through a cruise. Uh, very, very happy with this. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is now and see how far we get with it. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have subscribed, and would like to be notified of new releases, 
make sure to click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. And why not check out our website for more comprehensive online courses. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I wish you all fair winds and following seas. We'll see you again soon for episode 9 and part 4 of our Learn to Sail series, where we talk about the points of sale.